Hey peeps, I know, I don't know what's going on. Shit's weird. Um, now my cats choose now to come out and start showing their asses. So anyway, <laughs> I'm back. I got this orange juice, let me move it out the way. And you're gonna be like, why'd you only have this? Whatever y'all, whatever. It's delicious, let me put my phone on. Do not disturb. So, I have more than one, I have this one, and then I have this one. And it's actually a Korean pancake by Manchi. And it uses, so what you're supposed to do is like really grate the onion and the potato till it was like a paste. But the thing I bought for it, which is the same thing she has, didn't work. I don't know what technique she's using. Who cares, right? But also there's this sauce that I made earlier and this has um, spring onion jalapeno powder, even though she used jalapeno, I didn't have jalapenos. Um, onion, soy sauce, sugar, and vinegar. She's like, you can either use vinegar or you can use... Um, uh, limes, but I don't know. I don't want the lime to be too strong with this. And this is really simple to make because you actually don't even need to add water. It's the because the potato and then the juice from the onions and then the starch and then the salt. So let's cut into this. I'm gonna put the mic a little closer so you can actually hear me cutting into this. Oh, that sounds amazing. And it is cooked all the way through. You cook it for like five minutes aside. And Munchie is so cool. I actually have her first cookbook. And that is, of course, who tonight's uh, muck is dedicated to Um I don't know what Reggie's trying to do behind me, except to my nerve. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's done. And I'm going to try and eat this the way she eats it, which is, oh, there we go. Which is like, she just puts like parts of the sauce on top. So she can actually cut it into like, like instead of eighth, like six, whatever. Okay. Actually, let me taste it by itself first. That's good. And it's funny cause she was like, oh, it's adding that little bit of onion makes a difference. It does. Mm-hmm. Let's go. I feel like medium is she. I use olive oil. She used either grapeseed oil, which is you could another like neutral oil. I thought it was good though. All right, now it's time to try this. And if you've never used jalapeno powder, the general ratio is one half to one teaspoon um, of powder per. I don't want to like this. I'm just like nervous, whatever. That y'all aren't seeing this. Me. Hold it up a little more. You can actually see it. And I'm really excited. What are y'all gonna be? What y'all eating with me? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, spice. Got it. <laughs> I knew that jalapeno was coming, but I didn't know when. But hello, sir. Welcome to the party. And it's funny because the onion, it's actually, you would think, oh, because it's onion on onion. It's actually not overpowering because the onion's been soaking in the, uh, this sauce. Mmm, that's funny. I feel like there are a lot of, um, Korean dipping sauces that have similar ingredients. But they don't taste exactly the same. I think it's really cool how you just like mess with the proportions like only a little bit and you get so much out of it. So much out of it. Oh, it's so cool. Who is that? Is that Ivy? Yeah, that's Ivy. Okay. My cats are getting weird. I think Princess is just in her house. Anyway, so they choose right now while I'm filming to be like super active and they want pets and they want snuggles So Reggie's like right underneath me for snuggles. Ivy's right underneath me for food Things never change y'all mm. And unlike the Giyodon, I will be eating this. I will eat both of these Mm-hmm And by the way y'all It is hot off the, off the, off the pan because 
initially, I was like, yeah, I'll make one. But I had enough potatoes to make two. So why not? And then, I was like, yeah, if I'm going to make two, I'll use one pan five minutes from it. I was like, no, it doesn't make any sense. I have enough pans. I have a lot of cookware. I have enough pans in my house to um, do two at once. And I'll just divide them evenly. Mm. So, the pancake is hot, y'all, but the sauce is cold because it's in the fridge. Because I wanted to let the jalapeno powder hydrate, and I wanted things to kind of like come together. So, yeah, that's what in the fridge. I don't know if it had to be. I don't know if you have. I feel like you have to refrigerate this. I can't see me not refrigerating this because it has the raw onion. And, oh, it has um, scallions, too. Spring onion has that, too. So, because she uses fresh jalapeno... Hers is way chunkier. That's another thing too. Um, it's not like a smooth sauce, which I like. It is chunky. Mm. 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 That's all that. I feel like I'm dipping into some beer love, baby. All these onions, what? <clears throat> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you had jalapenos in this, like raw jalapeno, you'd have wild chunks of stuff. There's one piece of this left, and then I'm gonna cut the other one. Oh my gosh. I feel like every time I come on here, I should give y'all story time. But I do have one. <laughs> so, picture it Mother's Day 2020. No, I'm not joking. This really is a story time. So, yeah. excuse me. Uh, most of my family's been like stuck in a house, quarantine. You know what it is. Because um, they're in New York City. Quarantine here too. So, um, we love our lobster. So, my mother was like, oh, this is cool. Actually, and actually, my mother, my sister, my father, my sister, I wanted to get my mother, um, but also, anyway, okay. Then my mother was like, she wanted steak from Outback. She wanted their, uh, porterhouse. They don't have it on the menu no more. Don't know why. Whatever. At the time, right? Then, whatever. I want red lobster, I want red lobster, I want red lobster. Gucci, nigga. You like it, I love it. I just the other one. Look how well it sticks together. I imagine it falls apart, I say that. Huh? But I think it's the potato dirt that kind of keeps it together. Let's have a sequel to that beautiful cutting action. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do it in thirds this time. Not because I want to get rid of y'all, because I'm going to eat bigger uh, pieces, because I don't want the onion and the sauce to like overpower what I'm doing. Okay. Let's get it, boy. So, they, my sister puts the order in through, I forgot where, who cares, online. They say, all right, 40 minutes. My family takes forever to get out the house. My mother and my sister, no, my mother, my, my mother and my brother go, he has a car, go get it. Okay, okay. Smoke okay. So then, um, remember that place I told y'all about? Remember this, just remember this. So the one they're going to is in Harlem on 125th, right? 125th Street. The 
place I told you about in the other video, I was talking about my brother. Um, and that place is on 125th, but at the end, the very end, like you could see the water, okay? So anyway, they're not that far from there, so keep that in mind. And I told you about City Island. So when they get there, it's hours long wait. Because my, like, my sister's like, the, they said they can be ready. So it's ready. The food's ready now. And she's like, no, there's there's a two hour something wait. They're lying. Like on the on the website, it's saying it's this and it's not. And they're not doing deliveries. My mother and my brother, instead of going down the road, like maybe four or five avenues. I don't even know. I'm going to hold you because I don't drive. I literally took the bus and it's dark. Like not, it's not dark in the, on Mother's Day, but it's like, it's, when it's dark at night, it's dark in that neighborhood. That neighborhood is dark as fuck. Like it's like they blow out all the lights, right? It's crazy. So anyway, not the point. So then we're going, they don't even go there. They go back east to City Island. So they leave Harlem, right? They drive up past the house to City Island when they could have went, this is Harlem, this way to the Pollo Platas, whatever place. And I was talking to mom. I was talking to my mom that next week. I feel like it was that, it was that Thursday. It was that Thursday because I went to Jungbu. Not for this stuff. I actually already had this stuff. I went to Jungbu for some other stuff. Um, and when I did the Gildan video, that's the stuff I went to Jungbu for. So I went to Jungbu. And I was talking to her, I was like, oh, why didn't you go to that seafood place that, 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 that I was talking about? Because I mentioned it, I mentioned it not even a week before to my mother that I had done a mukbang and I had mentioned that video where I told you about my brother. And then, um, and then we, I was on the bus and I was like, okay, you know what? I just want to like vibe to some music. It, a lot's going on out in the world. I don't want to hear nobody coughing on this bus. So I just put my phone on, on uh, airplane mode. I started playing music and I was playing my game. I guess you remember I was like, oh, we tried to call you three times. I was like, what are you talking about? And why didn't you text me? Because if you had texted me, then as soon as I took my phone off airplane mode, when I got to Jungbu, I would have seen it and I would have responded uh, instead of us playing this game. So anyway, so she's like, what was the name of the place? And I was like, oh, it was this, this, this. and mind you, mind you, they have Google. My brother, I spoke to my mother about this a week before. I remember I told you a week prior. One. Two, my brother's been there more than me. He's been there like two, three times. Um, and I'm like, my God, you could have Googled it. And then I had to look it up on Yelp to remember. While I'm on my phone, standing in line with his mask on and my shopping cart and my list, just trying to get through the store. What are y'all doing? Look like they plotting. I'm gonna full. I'm sorry. Potatoes are good. You don't want two potatoes. Okay. Wow, boy. Mmm. Anyway. I don't know what they're doing besides getting on my nerves. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me finish telling you the story. Cause your girl full. I mean, I'm gonna finish telling you the story because I started the story. I can't even. I can't stop the story. Huh? So I'm telling her where the place is. She's like, all right, I'm gonna go. All right, bet. And I was like, well, why didn't you go on Mother's Day? She's like, oh. First thing she said was, oh, I didn't think of that. Mind you, he's talking about it a few nights before. The second thing she said is, oh, you know, the family's not going to eat that. I eat that. My father eats it. My brother eats it. I saved some for my sister. She eats it. You're the only one who hasn't eaten from this place, my guy. It's literally just you. Because, and I know Isis has some. That's my sister, if y'all forgot or didn't know where you knew to the channel. My sister had some. Because I saved her some. Because I got, like, I got mussels. I think I got mussel shrimp. A blue crab, definitely. And I think snow. So she had some. You're the only one who I have none. And have you, ever, have you ever had a mom who's like, or a parent who cooks for you, who or somebody who makes food for you, but they don't make food that they don't think you like? 
even if you like them. That's my mother. My mother loves Brussels sprouts, but she ain't never made a Brussels sprout because she's like, oh, I didn't think you'd like him. My mother doesn't like spinach, so she never made us nothing with spinach. Like, ugh. I should be so frustrating. Like, like, let us try, let us be the ones who decide, right? Like, now I know I like spinach certain ways, not always, but like certain ways I like spinach. I like Brussels sprouts. She doesn't like mushrooms except when I cook them. She likes when I cook mushrooms. Um, uh, but yeah, it was just so, I was looking at her like, is this who we are today, sir? So she forgot. And then she first said, at first she said, oh, I forgot, which was, I think was the thing. And right then she was like, oh, I don't think I want that, which is unproven. You don't know what they're going to want. Anyway, so I will see y'all uh, in the next video because your girl is fully yo. Uh, I don't even know what time it is. Oh, it's like 10 o'clock. You're not going to see this at 10 o'clock, of course. I wonder, do, let me know in the comments, does me filming at night or showing night scenes throw y'all off because this comes out at noon? Um... Let me know. I, I don't think it does, but it could. Listen, 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 listen. Because, you know, the lighting in here is awful. I filmed day videos, and I just don't like the lighting as much. I have less control over it, but now I have more control over it. Um, I will try and do some more stuff during the day, but these blinds, they'll go down that, that hard. And they're very light and thin and shit, so. Meh. So, I'm going to see you on the next video. Mwah. Love you.